Everyone said that we didn't need to worry. Water covers 70% of the earth, and everyone believed that we couldn't impact such a huge entity. But then diarrhea, cholera, typhoid, malaria, trachoma, dysentery, and hookworm struck. All of these horrid things caused by this. Plastic. See, it started off slow. The gyrus continued to grow, and once anyone realized what was happening, it was already too late. As plastic particles circulated throughout the ocean, they acted as sponges for waterborne contaminants such as PCBs, DDT, and other pesticides. Turns out that plastic pollution isn't such a benign material in the ocean. Now, plastic has truly taken over. Water companies have declined over the years in fear of lawsuits because they can't purify water enough to rid it of all these harmful pollutants, leaving us, the common person, to fend for ourselves and ration water from a local lake or reservoir. Back in the year 2000, Consumer Reports found that 80% of plastic 5-gallon water containers they looked into had residue in the water of bisphenol A, the main ingredient for polycarbonate plastic. What does this mean? Well, bisphenol A, even in extremely low doses, has links to cancer, diabetes, reproductive problems, and problematic neurological development. And in a 2009 study by the EWG, 9 out of 10 blood samples from the umbilical cords of newborn babies contained BPA. That means the pollution we produce now is affecting future generations already from their moments of birth. Through photodegradation, plastics break down into essentially dust. And according to the Algalita Marine Research Foundation, these tiny plastic pieces can attract and hold otherwise hydrophobic elements like PCB and DDT up to 1 million times background levels. And as a result, floating plastic is like a poison pill. See, this is all public information, yet we strive to ignore it because we believe that since we're healthy now, we'll always remain like that. Don't ignore the contamination of the most precious resource in your life, or this is your future. Drink my instant coffee Cause I got no time, got no time And girl, you can't just stop me Cause 
all I see are green lights, green lights. Bring your own bags when you go grocery shopping or rent books or movies. Plastic-free containers, they look cool and refilling them is cheaper too. Shop at your neighboring farmer's markets, a cheap and fun way to socialize while you get your groceries. Politely decline when offered plastic bags anywhere. Cut out sodas and juices and all other plastic bottled beverages. Frozen convenient foods usually wrap the food items individually in plastic and again wrap the package in plastic. You could even try banning plastic bags. Everyone can make a difference, we just need to spread the word. Chances are all gone. Yeah, those chances are all.